Hi Notion is the latest Apple shortcut that I've created in my series of Apple shortcuts that I've been making lately is a fairly simple one but hopefully it's going to be pretty handy if you do record your expenses in Notion. I've created a basic database for my Notion template here so that you can see how this is configured and obviously what information feeds into where. Um, and so here we have an expenses database where you would name your expense record the amount that you spent, record the category or categories if you have a multi-select property for your categories here or maybe tags uh, and then also uh, a date property here which is a date property uh, rather than a created date property just so that you can modify these dates and times if you're having to record an expense retrospectively using this automation. So to show you how this works, obviously you'd probably be doing this on your phone most of the time, but if we select our shortcut there, name our expense here, and enter the amount, that's gonna run that shortcut and add that expense to our expenses database. So when it comes to the template itself, obviously this is a pretty simple one. Um, Maybe this is going to be a good foundation for you to build on if you're just setting up your expense tracking system. But also this shortcut is designed to work with any expenses database like this one. And so if you have a database set up already, which has different names for the properties here, uh, you will have the option to configure this shortcut to work with that database rather than having to work with the one that's included in my Notion template just here. To show you how the shortcut is set up, first of all, we've got our settings shortcut right here. Uh, you'll be prompted to fill in these details when you open this shortcut for the first time. And basically you'll need to enter your API key, which is the internal integration token uh, that I have explained how to create in the guide that I've linked to in the description of this video. You'll also need to record the ID of your expenses database. And then if you have renamed any of your properties or you're using a multi-select property rather than a select property, you can just enter the names of those properties in the value column right here. And if your category property is multi-select, just enter multi and select like that. Uh, that format is important. It does need to be all lowercase text with the underscore separating the two words, uh, just like that in order for the shortcut to work. The other thing that you'll need to do is go into the record expenses uh, shortcut itself, which is the one that you'll use to run this automation when you go to log a new expense. Uh, and you'll just need to link this shortcut to the setting shortcut. And also if you are using a multi-select property for your categories property, rather than a select property, you'll just need to toggle on select multiple right here. Again, when you open this shortcut for the first time, you'll be prompted to do that. So it should be a nice straightforward process for you. And that's it. There's no other configuration involved. Uh, hopefully it'll be straightforward to just get this set up and start locking your expenses straight away. Obviously, if you want to add this shortcut to your home screen and run it from there, or you want to include it in a widget so that you can run it from your lock screen, you have the option to do both of those things. And that's basically all you need to consider when you're setting this shortcut up. If you need help customizing this shortcut so that it will fill in additional properties, or maybe you want to link entries in this database to uh, entries in an accounts database or something like that, that is all possible, uh, but it's not the kind of thing that I can incorporate into the shortcut easily for uh, the public version. So just get in touch. I am available to hire as a consultant and I'll be more than happy to help you get that set up. So I hope this makes tracking your expenses a little bit less painful and stick around because I'll be sharing lots more Apple shortcuts and Notion templates like this in the future. So I hope to see you back here very soon.